actually comes of itself uh, out of that mysterious interior well of creative inspiration, which I guess nourishes everybody to one degree or another. It's much more important, Evans feels, to master fundamentals, both in theory, so that you understand what you're doing, and then in active practice, developing one's uh, musical muscles, not just technical facility, but uh, the brain connection with the arm muscle, so to speak, uh, developing that facility to the point where the subconscious mind can take over the basic mechanical task of playing, uh, thus freeing the, uh, freeing the conscious to uh, concentrate on the spontaneous creative element that distinguishes the best jazz, and I guess uh, the best and perhaps all human activity. Now, if that sounds like uh, nonsense to you, uh, if you're a non-musician, let's say, uh, you'll be familiar with this uh, separation of jurisdictions from such common experiences as uh, driving your car. You remember when you learn to drive, you, you first consciously learn these separate movements, turning the key and pulling, you know, whatever you did. Uh, and then you gradually relegated all of that uh, movement or all of that individually willed movement to the subconscious, which then took over the machine and which should be made to pay the traffic tickets, I think, if we have things running right. But anyway, your subconscious eventually drives around town while your conscious mind engages in conversation or listens to the radio or that sort of thing. And possibly, Bill, you could explain or trace your development somewhat to show how you got to this point. Because obviously when you're playing, you're using a tremendous facility, a tremendous ear for harmonics, mm -hmm. and, and years of dedication and commitment to this. Uh, I started studying piano when I was six, but this was classical music. Mm -hmm. Now from the age of six to 13, I acquired the ability to sight read and to play classical music. Uh, so that actually, uh, both of us, you know, we're performing Mozart, Beethoven, uh, uh, Schubert, and uh, so on, intelligently, musically, but yet I couldn't play my country synthesis without the notes. Mm -hmm. Now this is a uh, funny thing, to be able to play a masterpiece intelligently, musically, and still not to be able to be creative and understand music enough to be able to play a simple thing like my country synthesis without having any sentiment. But really, uh, it wasn't until perhaps uh, I started playing percussion when I was 13 and played at home and maybe four or five nights a week and as much as possible for all these years, all these years. And it wasn't until I'd say uh, maybe I was 28 or something like that that I began to feel uh, a degree of expressive uh, ability, the ability to now write out my feelings freely through some sort of a craft. And, and this was in the simple area of the popular, you know, I remember hearing you play, and we were both playing at the same time when we were boys where you could become involved and explore the subject. You could keep exploring and exploring. And all I kept hearing was the excitement or wanting the success, uh, uh, shall we say, preceding the years of involvement of exploring and all this. And I think this, again, is true of so many people. And regardless of what field, again, uh, the young business executive, the young man uh, going into medicine, the law, whatever it might be, where uh, all they see is the end result rather than seeing the, the intrinsic value of that field and what it can offer. Now, the whole process of learning uh, the facility of being able to play that is to take these problems from the outer level in one by one and to stay with it at a very uh, intense, conscious concentration level until that process becomes secondary and subconscious. Now, when that becomes subconscious, then you can begin concentrating on that next problem, which will allow you to do a little bit more, you know, mm -hmm. and so on and so on. And this is what happened, of course. But that might give you an idea of how the problem is approached and what uh, degree of time and, and effort uh, is necessary to make all of this subconscious so that you can then express yourself. And uh, I, I would certainly say it's more than worth it, but uh, I think most people just don't realize the immensity of the problem, and, uh, and either because they can't conquer it immediately think that they haven't got the ability, or they're so impatient to conquer it that they never do see it through. But uh, if you do understand the problem, I think then you can enjoy your, your whole trip through. I know I, I feel like I've been tremendously fortunate in that finding the position that I now have. Yeah. And yet, I can remember having coming to New York to make a break, you know, and in jazz, and, uh, and saying to myself, now how should I attack this practical problem of becoming a, uh, a jazz musician as a, a making a living and so on, and, and I said, well, ultimately I came to the conclusion that all I must do is take care of the music, even if I do it in a closet, 
Hello. 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 Hello.